I give you this task. Journey to Wallen Road. Speak with Armand Mortier. I would like to arrange a contract. Several, actually. I dare say, the work I'm offering has more significance than anything your organization has experienced in, well, centuries. What I ask is no small thing, of course. But you represent the Dark Brotherhood. This is what you do, no? So much has led to this day. So much planning and maneuvering. But you should know that these killings are but a means to an end. For they pave the way to the most important target. For I seek the assassination of... The Emperor. Here, take these. They need to be delivered to your... Superior. What's this? To kill the Emperor of Tamriel. No one has dared assassinate an Emperor of Tamriel since the murder of Uriel Septim, and that was 200 years ago. I hope you have something nice to wear, because you're going to a wedding. It should be a lovely affair. You'll mingle with the guests, eat some cake, stab the bride. Vici is likely to address her guests frequently, as is the wedding custom. Kill her when she does that. The Emperor's cousin, butchered at her own wedding. And now your reward. Lead, and I will follow. With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty, his security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations immediately. Killing Commander Morrow would do no good. Someone would merely replace him. No. You are to slay the Commander's son, Gaius Morrow, and once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. When the Emperor's safety is concerned, anything could go wrong. Off with you now, and good travels. Farewell, Father. I'll return as soon as I'm able. He is set to leave the Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge and inspect the security of each city in Skyrim. Implicate and kill his son Gaius, and the commander will be grief-stricken and humiliated, his family name ruined. The security plan will then fail. Best yet, the Emperor will be lulled into a false sense of security, thinking an assassination plot had already been discovered and foiled. Have you by chance heard of the Gourmet? The Gourmet is scheduled to cook for the Emperor at a special dinner. You'll kill him, steal his writ of passage, and assume the role of Master Chef. But first, you'll need to learn who he is. Assuming, of course, that the Gourmet actually is a he, I came upon this. It's a copy of the Gourmet's cookbook. Uh, but not just any copy. It's signed, you see. Seems to be a message from the Gourmet to one Anton Varan. The Dark Brotherhood? Now, now, wait a minute. Let's not get hasty. Look, his name is Balagog Gronolo. He's an orc. The Gourmet's an orc. He's staying at the Night Gate Inn. That's all I know. Oh, and if you can, hide his body. The longer it takes for anyone else to determine his real identity, the better. Time for the final stage of this grand and glorious operation. Just follow my instructions, and the Dark Brotherhood will be back on top. All thanks to you, listener. Go now to Castle Dower in Solitude. Present the Gourmet's writ of passage to the officer in charge, Commander Marrow. You're posing as a chef, so you'll be able to poison his meal rather easily. You should proceed to the kitchen straight away. The Gourmet? Oh, finally! When I heard the Gourmet was being brought in to cook for the Emperor, I could hardly believe it. I'll carry the stew pot and lead the way up to the dining room. I'm sure the Emperor and his guests are dying to meet you. The Emperor will be serving Sithis before he even knows he's dead. Once Mead has been killed, escape through the upper door and across the bridge. I've arranged for it to be unguarded once the alarm is sounded. 
Here we are, honored guests. I present to you the gourmet. Ah, the potage le magnifique. So delicious. Oh, oh, how marvelous. Just delicious. It is everything I had hoped it would be. It... I... I think something's wrong. Help! Help! Someone do something. You, an assassin for the Dark Brotherhood, have just made an attempt on the Emperor's life. Would have succeeded had it been the real man. Surprised? So was I when a member of your family came to me with a plan. We worked out a deal, you see. An exchange. Your sanctuary's being put to the sword right now. You killed my son! All of you! And now you'll pay the price! A bloody bleeding! Smoke's getting bad. This place will be raging soon. <laughs> Listener, I am your only salvation. Come, embrace me. All of this, it's all my fault. You are the best of us, and I nearly killed you. But while you live, the Dark Brotherhood lives. We must fulfill our contract. Emperor Titus Mead II must be eliminated. What is it? I said I didn't wish to... be... disturbed. The Emperor is still in Skyrim, but not for long. He's on board his ship, the Kataraya, moored offshore in the Solitude Inlet. But you must hurry. If you can get on board that ship, kill Titus Mead II, as contracted. Please, make haste. The Emperor's ship won't stay moored forever. We won't get a chance like this again. And once more I prove Commander Morrow the fool. I told him, you can't stop the Dark Brotherhood. Never could. Come now, don't be shy. You haven't come this far just to stand there gawking. You stand now at the precipice of the void. I am reminded of another listener. A protege I knew long ago, so long.